This looks like a keeper. Looks like a keeper. Is that him? Need to hurry. Have to hurry. much energy in this. Huh? What's all that noise? What is that? Something's attacking Chi-Chi. Not good. I need to help her. Get back, you mechanical meanies! Leave me alone! Chi-Chi, watch out! Trunks, is that you? Yeah. What's with these robots? I'm not sure. They came out of nowhere and started attacking me! Okay, leave this to me. You go find a safe place to hide. No, I can't leave you to fight these things. I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'm a lot stronger than I look. Looks like these things attack anything that moves. All right, bring it on. Take this! You're nothing compared to the androids. Here it comes! I think the training with Gohan is starting to pay off. Try this and it's all of them. I hope Chi Chi's okay. Chi-Chi, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Although I totally could have handled those buckets of bolts on my own. <laughs> Glad to see you're still full of energy. 
Yeah, I might not look like it, but I've still got some fight left in me. I am glad you showed up. Thanks, Trunks. It was no problem. What were you up to? Me? No, oh, I was just on my way back from checking on the fields. Cool. I'll escort you back to your house then, just in case any more of those robots show up. Really? Well then, escort away, Mr. Bodyguard. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, Trunks, my boy. I really appreciate you saving Chi-Chi. You know, you'd make Vegeta proud. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? No need to be so modest, Trunks. You fought just like my Gohan when he was little. Uh, really? Oh, uh, that reminds me. I heard you were out there helping Gohan fight those awful androids. You did? Not good, not good. How did he hear about that? If he knows, then my mom might find out. Uh, <laughs> well, you shouldn't believe everything you hear, you know. Oh, uh, so you're not? Well, uh, I guess that's good. Right. Those androids are way too dangerous for a kid like you to fight. I don't even like Gohan fighting them. He was going to be a world-class scholar when he got older. I know how you feel, Chi-Chi, but Gohan's made up his mind. He's our boy, and we should trust him. We just have to hope he stays safe. Gohan doesn't fight because he wants to, but because he has to. And he's still thinking and worrying about you. Uh, at least that's what I think. You're right. Anyway, if you see him, would you please tell him to keep fighting, but to try to come home, like, every once in a while? I will. Okay, well, I'd better head back now. Stay safe, you two. Thanks. Give my regards to Bulma, okay? Have a safe trip back home. Thanks. Oh, uh, could you maybe not tell my mom what you heard about me helping Gohan fight the androids? It'll just stress her out. <laughs> of course. I should let Gohan know how Chi-Chi and the Ox King are doing. I wonder if Gohan's where we were before.
I knew Chi-Chi'd be worried about Gohan. I need to make sure my mom doesn't find out what I'm up to. Gohan should really try to visit his family more often. They look simple enough to beat. Hey, Trunks. I thought you went back home for the rest of the day. Actually, I was just visiting your mom and grandpa at their place. Oh, really? Why would you do that? You said you were worried, so I went and checked on them. There was a small issue, but they're okay. Small issue? Yeah, some weird machines were attacking your mom, but I took care of them. Really? Oh no, is my mom okay? Yeah, not a scratch on her. That's a relief. Thanks a lot, Trunks. Seriously, if you hadn't been there, there's no telling what might have happened. Um, Chi-Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Oh, uh, I can't go right now, obviously, but I guess I'd better start making regular trips back to make sure she's doing okay. She'd like that. Right. Speaking of family, you'd better head back yourself before Bulma starts worrying. True. See you later. If I really want to put everyone at ease, I need to defeat the androids and bring peace back to this world. city suffered numerous casualties today as the androids continued their rampage. Residents in nearby areas have been ordered to evacuate immediately. <sighs> um, Chi-Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Mom. Just hang on a bit longer. I promise, I'll come back once the androids are gone. The next day, Trunks and Gohan continue their training with a new resolve. Right. Let's begin the training. What are we gonna do today? Another sparring match? We can, and will do that. But I think we need to focus on making you a Super Saiyan. So, let's start there. I'm sorry this isn't going well. I don't think I can become a Super Saiyan today. It's not supposed to be easy. Don't worry. We'll take our time with it. Okay. That explosion. It has to be the androids. I cannot let them destroy another town. Then let's go, Gohan. No. Trunks still can't transform into a Super Saiyan. He's not ready for this fight yet. I'll be back. You stay here. Wait, Gohan. I can go with you and help you fight. You're still not ready to take them on. Just stay here for now. But like... Any help would be better than nothing, right, Gohan? Fine, but try to keep up, okay? And don't push it if you think it's too much. Thanks. Let's go. If we don't hurry, people are gonna die.
right. Those androids are going to pay. There is only some way of knowing where they are. Hard to do that when we can't detect their energy. We're gonna have to hunt them down the hard way. Over there! Right. Why are the androids doing this? Why are they killing people? I don't know. But one thing's for sure. They're clearly enjoying it. This sucks! That's enough, androids! How could you monsters do this? Oh, great. You guys again. What a drag. Let's get rid of them so we can keep having some fun. There are tons of other far more interesting people left to kill. I'm not gonna let you do that. Go on, let me help you fight them. Fine. You can be my support, but try not to put yourself directly in harm's way. Uh, okay. I'm more than enough to handle these losers on my own. Try to make it snappy, okay? We've got places to be. One slip up and we're done for. You need to be careful, Trunks. Look alive! Give it a rest, all that damn near me. Your room of terror ends. Here and now. Look alive! Seriously. Y yeah. I'm gonna beat you. If you think we're actually trying, then you're in for a big surprise. Then fight us for real. We're not gonna lose. Not yet. There's still a long way to go before they're done. Ah! Trunks! Hm. You thought you were winning? Give me a break. It's lights out for you guys. Well, would you look at that? At least they're good at running away. 
They're pretty nimble for a couple of meat bags. <sighs> Wherever you're hiding, we'll find you. So, you think we got them, 18? Yeah, they're dead. But even if they are alive, we'll find them. Come on, 17. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Okay, sure. Several days later, though Gohan had lost an arm, he was spared the same fate as the others. After a miraculous recovery, he had regained the strength and determination needed to fight once more. Trunks, on the other hand, felt responsible for Gohan's injury and struggled to find the courage to face his mentor. Huh, you seem out of it, Trunks. Y yeah I know you were trying to keep it a secret from me, but... I know all about your training sessions with Gohan. I'm sorry, Mom. You used to head over to Gohan's place to train, right? You haven't been there in a while. It, it's because of me that Gohan... that he... How am I supposed to face him? It wasn't your fault, Trunks. I know that. And more importantly, I'm sure Gohan knows that. You'll feel a lot better if you just go see him and, and tell him how you're feeling. Trust me. I guess you're right. I'll head over there now. Good. Be careful, okay? I have no idea what I'm gonna say when I see Gohan. I'm sure Gohan's feeling better and can move around and stuff. But he probably can't do much training anymore. Android's made a real mess of this place. Mom's still toiling away in her lab. I bet his Gohan would probably look right. Gohan would probably right.
It's just me and mom living here. Simple enough to beat. I don't know if I have what it takes to be as strong as Gohan. Gohan! Good, you're here. Let's get started with... Huh? What's with the long face? Gohan... Y your arm... Uh, are you okay? Yeah. It's gonna take some getting used to, though. Oh, I get it. So that's why you seem so upset, Trunks. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it, man. It's in the past, so no use thinking about it now. Besides, I'm just grateful I only lost an arm. But... Okay. If your head's not completely in this, then this is no time to be training. No, I can still train with you. Relax. It's okay. Sometimes a warrior has to refocus. You know what? I've got an idea. What do you say we go catch us some fish? Sound good? Uh, okay. Another Red Ribbon Army drone has shown up. Don't let it find you. <laughs> You want to go fishing? Where exactly? Huh. Let's see. There's an island near West City with a lighthouse on it. That ought to be a good spot. R right. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever gone fishing with anyone before. Oh. That makes sense. Vegeta wasn't around when you were... You know how to fish, Trunks? Yeah, I think so. While we're here, how about a little competition? The one who catches the most fish wins. What? No way! Hmm? Wait a sec. I definitely can't beat you in a fight, but... I think I might actually be able to beat you in a fishing competition. <laughs> Good. Then that settles it. Don't let me down, Trunks. I'm ready for ya. Uh, I'm not gonna lose. Let's see. Where should I fish first? Seems Gohan's already looking for a spot. This looks like a keeper. This looks like a keeper. I did it! 
I wonder how Gohan's doing. Wow, you caught a lot, Gohan. Let's count them up. Huh. I think you caught more. All right, I beat you, I beat you! Way to go, Trunks. You might be a better fisherman than my dad. <laughs> so, what should we do with all the fish? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry. Let's cook them. Whew. I think I ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> we did fish up a lot, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> Is something wrong? No. Just glad to see you're back to your old self. Oh. Thanks. You went out of your way to make me feel better. Sorry if I worried you. I didn't go out of my way at all. Think of this as just another part of your training. Uh-huh. You mean catching fish and eating them? Totally. It's part of the turtle school teachings. The ones my dad learned from Master Roshi. According to him, you should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. He'd always say that enjoying life is part of one's training, too. Oh, okay. That sounds like good advice. Training you makes me nostalgic. It takes me back to a time when Piccolo trained me when I was a kid. Back then, though, I thought I was training with a monster. He was so ruthless. Seriously, it felt like a year and a half of pure torture. <laughs> Actually, if I remember correctly, I was training to help save Earth from Vegeta and the other Saiyan jerk Nappa that came with him. Seriously? Y you had to go through all of that because of my father? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, it is pretty strange to think I'm training the son of a guy who once tried to destroy the planet. A long time before he trained me, Piccolo supposedly fought my dad as his mortal enemy. Weird how fate works, isn't it? Yeah, it brings people together, like us. Exactly. And all of those people, my dad, yours, and everyone else, they live on in you now, Trunks. Go on. That's why it's so important that you stay alive. And I'll keep training you to make sure you stay that way. If anyone's gonna bring peace, it's you. You're our last hope. Don't worry. You'll surpass me in no time. I promise I won't let you down. Good. We'll get stronger together. And we'll make sure our world is safe again. Right, Trunks? Right! Piccolo sacrificed himself to protect me back then. I was too young to understand, but now I know what he felt in that moment. You're the last warrior alive who can do this, Trunks. It's all up to you. I'm afraid you're our last hope. The people of this world are going to count on you to protect them when the time comes, but I believe in you with all of my heart. You can do this, Trunks. A few days later, Trunks and Gohan's training reaches a fever pitch. Get angry. Angrier. Why can't I turn into a Super Saiyan? You're almost there, Trunks. It's not easy. My dad and I struggle to become Super Saiyans too. It's like I said before, 
Rage triggers the transformation. True rage. Thinking about Piccolo, Krillin, and everyone else dying, I was devastated with grief. It upset me so much that I was overcome with anger. And it was then that I became a Super Saiyan. You've got Vegeta's Royal Saiyan blood coursing through your veins. You're going to become a Super Saiyan. I know it. Believe in yourself. If you say so. All right. That's enough Super Saiyan training for now. Let's spar. Okay, let's do it. Come at me with all you've got. Right. You can't fight me while I'm at a disadvantage. If you've got no hope of beating the androids. I know. You're holding back on me, aren't you? No, I'm not. I swear. I'm not that injured. Why would you even need to hold back? Understand? Okay, good. Now, punish your opponent when their guard is down. What? Here it comes! It's your best? Oh no! Good, Trunks. That's how you do it. I'm still not on your level, Gohan. Your defense needs a lot of work. Oh no! Watch your opponent carefully. Full force! Watch your full force! You're getting better. I have to be better than you. Better than the angels. I'm an android. Stronger than you were before. Yeah. If only I could become a Super Saiyan, though. You will. You just need something to help trigger the transformation. The, the city! It's the androids. They finally found their way here. This is it. You sure you're okay? I'm worried. I might not be able to keep Trunks safe this time. Trunks, stay here, got it? Do not follow me. No, if you're going, then I'm going too. You said it yourself, I'm a lot stronger now. Trunks, you're underestimating how hard this fight will be. I promise I won't drag you down. I, I want to help you fight them. I get it. Fine, Trunks. Let's go. Okay. Trunks, you're humanity's last hope. If both of us die, then there won't be a single warrior left to protect the planet. As the only one left who's capable of ending this nightmare in a few years' time, you have to survive. I'm 
I'm sorry, Trunks. I might not be able to stop the androids, but if you were around, I'd be distracted. As long as I know you're alive and safe, I can give it my all 